So do you hate doing math and you found yourself working on a project that you need to figure out where the center of something is on it so you can keep working on it? I've got a way to do that on multiple objects today that I want to show you. It's going to be quick and easy and no math. Welcome back for another Tips and Tools Tuesday with your host Anthony Bronner from Hardcore Fab. So the first situation I want to show you is this right here. We want to find a center point here on these two pieces of material that overlap each other. It doesn't have to be square like this one is. They can be out of sync from each other, but uh, this one is square. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find right here on the edge of where they cross and we're going to line up a straight edge there and then we're going to come over here to the other side. We're going to line up straight edge over there. We're going to take into consideration the thickness of our piece that we're marking it with. In this situation I'm just using a scribe it's, uh, or an old pick is what it is actually and I'm just going to run it right along there like that. It's going to scratch into that mill scale, but we're not actually digging in the material too much. So it's the perfect way for me to mark this here. And I'm going to come over here to the other side and do the exact same thing. And right there, X marks our spot. You don't necessarily have to have a pick to do that. I've got like my center punch here that I'm going to use to actually mark where I need to drill. I could use that to scratch that if I wanted to or a marker, or I've even used like my pocket knife before. You can go in there and do something like that with a pocket knife. So whatever you got laying around, just make sure that you take in consideration the thickness of whatever it is that you're doing so that you're actually truly in the center. So a lot of you would have figured that one out on your own probably, and we could do the same thing with a square, and a square is about as simple. We go from corner to corner on a square and put a line in there, and we'll come back over here exit we'll do the same thing you do the same thing on a square so there's a couple there but something that's a little bit more complicated is a circle so let's go ahead and grab a circle and i'll show you how to do it on a circle real quick so like with most things there is actually a tool for that but there's one big drawback with using this tool besides the fact that most of you probably aren't going to have it is it's really kind of hard to get your exact center with it when you're trying to mark it with a line because the edge of the ruler here is actually the center, not where it is that you're gonna be able to put your line. So your line's gonna be stepped off of it, away from there just a little bit. You can use a scribe, or like I said, I got this pick here, same thing. It's gonna have a nice sharp point that's gonna get really close in there and get fairly precise, but it is gonna be just a little bit off. You could do that multiple times around here and then you can get a pretty good idea of where it's at. But there's another way to do it without having the special tool. So you take your uh, ruler, any kind of ruler that you've got, whatever, and you can start marking out some stuff here. Just pick a number that kind of goes about a third of the way across. In my situation here, that's a six. So I'm going to draw a line all the way across here. And then in the middle of the six is three. So we're gonna mark our center. I'm gonna do that three times. Doesn't really matter where you do this at as long as you stay with the same number each time. So now we got our three lines marked on there. We can take a regular old square. We can line it up with our line here and then line it up with the center line. And just like that, you have your mark for center. Well, hopefully I helped somebody out there. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.